Right, this morning, gonna get the old beams in, joists into there. And then build the block work up on top of there, get the lintels on, um, and then try and start getting the old floor joists in. And then scaffold us out. Start scaffolding this here, and then we've got beam going in end of the week to support the top part of the extension. Double story that's sort of the same width as the back of the or, or the side of the house, and then returns into there. Um, more floor, more drainage, more brickwork, more blockwork. Joseph's just setting out the first hole we're going to punch through for the first floor joists. So this one's 300mm in from out of brickwork or 200mm from the inside of that block work and that'll be the first floor joist. Right. That's the joist in. That's going to be two courses of brick with their pug joints which makes that level through there cut into the wall and then they're 400 centers come across here and that'll give us the height then of that beam that's going through there Leveled that through there, out of there, spot on. All right, we know now that's our height, the underside of our joists. So that marries up with the floor up there. So we knock that out. That, all that wall comes out and then it's a walk through. So you've got to make sure your joists are level with inside of the house to the extension. So we've punched a hole out of the wall there and then that is the joists inside, floor joists, so that shows you what height you want your floor joists out going into the extension. That's nearly there, yeah, probably five mil, five mil packer. What have you got there? Cut the mil, so yeah, maybe a 10 mil packer under there, and that'll be level then with that. Perfect. Do you want to get the... So what you're saying, 10 mil... 10 mil packer that end, yeah? Which is what you've got under that end. So that works perfect. Yeah, at least we know then the floor's level through there. Like I said, all of this comes out and then this goes into the fourth bedroom here 
third bedroom over there and I think the family bathroom or, or an ensuite is over there. So this is a crucial part. You need to have this level when you come out of the existing house into the extension. So now I'm happy with that there. And I'm happy with that there. Obviously, not that little bugger there. We'll get rid of that. But now I'll run that brickwork in. And that'll be nice and level for our joists. Make sure your last beam over there and that beam is level. Put a straight edge along the top. If you're going to use a timber joist, make sure it's not bowed, make sure it's level. And then measure your gap underneath and then cut that packer off, put her under there. That's how you get a nice level floor. When marking out for your timbers, measure the other side or the wall side of that timber. 1200 there, because then that's half a sheet of plasterboard. And then 2.4 there, and that means plasterboard and your flooring will work without having to cut them down. Neat little hole cut out that with a spinner. And put, put them in after, and then they won't move them. And you keep track as well because you've got joists in there. Look, make sure that they marry up with your joists out here. Yeah. 